What's the biggest challenge that you have when you're working with a group? Communication. And that's probably the biggest part of being a business owner is communicating. Generally, all businesses are broken down into four or five different components that seem to be um, necessary for businesses to, to move forward. And it, it comes from a, a perspective that um, each individual group has their own specific skill sets that are, are best suited to that group. And, and often when you're a small business, a uh, sole entrepreneur, you're the one that has to run around and do everything yourself. Um, as your business grows, you try to find people that can sort of fill in the gaps where perhaps you're not, uh, uh, it's not your specialty. So essentially the, the way that I look at breaking down a business is into um, uh, groups. There's the finance group, um, which really essentially takes care of all the financial aspects of, of your organization, uh, money in, money out. Uh, very simplistically from, uh, you know, as, as simple as a store, it would be, you know, taking control of, of payments for your employees, taking control of, uh, you know, as, as people come in and buy things from you, as you're buying from suppliers. That's uh, kind of the first part. Uh, HR is the second part, human resources, where, you know, you're going to be responsible for hiring people as you grow. Um, you're going to need to be able to figure out which are going to be the right people for you uh, and which are going to be the people that fit into your organization in a specific role or uh, department um, and how they can help you. Uh, so that's the, the second important component. Um, Next, you've got uh, production. So as your company is growing, you're either producing a, uh, uh, an article that you're going to sell or you're producing some kind of service that you're going to provide to your, your clients. And so you need to have somebody involved in handling all of the parts of that production, whether it be um, making the widgets themselves or whether it be making all the different um, uh, items that you would need for servicing your clients. Uh, beyond that, um, then the next thing that you're going to need is a sales department, sales and marketing, and, and that ties in with all the other components, but they're really the front line of the company. They're the guys that are on the street trying to get people to buy your products to make you profitable. So, you know, they need to be, um, they need to be working with finance so that they know well, what's our budget, how much do we need to sell this product for, uh, they'll work with production to know, well, how quickly can you get the products to me? How quickly can I turn them over to the clients? Um, these are all important tie-ins together with, uh, with the organization. And then I guess finally the, the, the last one really is purchasing. Um, it it kind of sits in that production area where uh, essentially you're going to need inputs. You're going to need things that you need to buy, whether it's office supplies or whether it's, uh, you know, you need uh, certain materials to build whatever it is that you're selling. So you need that purchasing department to do that. Definitely leadership is one of the biggest skills and I think everyone within the entrepreneurial adventure will learn leadership skills. But certainly um, as a perspective, the CEO uh, and the department heads, that's going to be a big part of what they're, um, what they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. The CEO of the company, which will be, again, one of your students, will, which will have kind of the role of overseeing the whole company from every different department. By making a good understanding that this is a collaborative process, everyone's got to work together. Um, but in a classroom full of 25 kids, we know that you guys don't always get along. So they've got to be able to deal with um, any of the issues that will come up if, as you move through this project and be able to satisfy as many people as they can within the, within the organization. There are certainly some skills that, uh, that would be more uh, suitable for certain areas of a, of a business. And so in the budgeting and the financial side, which needs to be you know, very, very, very organized, um, there's no room for mistakes in, in the number side of it. Somebody who's good with mathematics would probably um, work well in that environment. 
uh, somebody who's hands-on, who has a skill for more um, building things and fixing things and likes to get involved in, the, in how things operate. Well, perhaps they should be in the, in the production side of it, creating, you know, whatever the models that you need, whatever uh, instruments that you need, uh, whatever you're selling. They could be in that, involved in that. Um, somebody who is, is uh, very outgoing, has no issues speaking in front of people, likes to be sort of the center of attention, well, you know, they might be more suited for a sales and marketing role. Um, creative people seem to really focus in on marketing more so than the sales side um, because it allows them to use their creativity to come up with ideas of explaining their product very quickly to someone who's never seen it before or doesn't understand what it is. They need to be able to do that quickly so that they can make a decision whether they want to buy it or not. Um, with regards to, to purchasing, again, that's probably a little, someone, again, that has a little bit more of a, um, is a little bit more organized in, in how they do things because you have to be perfect on your timing to make sure that you have all the items you need at the right time. You can't run out of um, your, 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 uh, your supplies as you're building the product, um, as your production team is building the product because then they have to stop and that always hurts you if you have downtime. From a perspective of the overall leader for, for the organization, uh, they would have to have some knowledge or some skill set in, in all of those different environments um, because they're going to be relied on to have interaction and to, to speak to, to the heads of those departments and understand relatively quickly what it is that they're talking about.